Okay, everybody, I'm back again. Um, I wanted to tell you exactly what's been going on on this little vacation, or whatever the case may be. Drama. <laughs> Woo! Lots of drama. And it seems like to me, every time I take a vacation, shit just break loose. Like, I'm the glue that holds everything together, and shit just break loose. Well, anyway, first off, um... I've been having dizzy spells or whatever, so I go to Geyser or whatever, and um, they weigh me and everything, take the blood pressure, do my blood and all this all kind of stuff. Then they tell me, um, you're fat. I said, I mean, not really they don't say you're fat, but, you know, pretty much you overweight. So, um, my, but the last three times I went to my doctor's appointment, my um, blood pressure been high. Now, I don't know if you know this about Kaiser, if you have Kaiser. Kaiser is an HMO uh, um, medical, uh, HMO medical facility where doctors are, blah, blah, blah. So, I go in there, and this is the third time that my blood pressure has been high. So, um, Kaiser is like, like the blood pressure police or something. I don't know. They call me at work. They call my cell phone. They call I me mean, and then call my mama house. I was like, damn, it's just blood pressure, my mother. Why are you calling me like I'm your damn man? Oh, it's high. We need to put you on blood pressure medicine. I said, hell to the knock. You're not putting me on no damn blood pressure medicine. But a simple fact, that's old people medicine. I old. And I'm about to turn 38. I'm already kind of like feeling like, fuck, I'm about to be 38. Then you come talking about some damn blood pressure medicine? Oh, no. So, I said, I'm not taking it. So, me and the doctor in there going back and forth. I mean, really, she like, if you don't take this blood pressure medicine, I'm like, okay. I said, there has to be some alternative that you can tell me to take. Or what to do, or whatever. And I said, um, so we started looking at my past, uh, like um, past checkups. And when I was one from an woman, <laughs> okay, okay, I'll tell y'all, I was 188 at the doctor. My weight was 188, and it seems that when my weight was in the 70s I didn't have high blood pressure so I said give me three months and I will lose the weight and then we can um uh, decide if I need blood pressure medicine and I said yeah I'm just gonna use fruits of planta and um, lose the weight oh no 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 you can't do that you have to lose it naturally Lady, damn, I mean, you want to put me on blood pressure medicine, but I can't have no damn fruit to plant her? Really? So, here we go again. I said, well, Doc, <laughs> I'm going to need more than three months. <laughs> I'm going to need more than three months to get the weight off. See, she said, okay, here's what we can do. <laughs> Excuse me. Here's what we can do. I can put you on water pills and you'll lose the weight and your pressure will come down. Now why the f you didn't tell me at the, all this at the beginning of the damn thing? You trying to push them damn um blood pressure medicine on me. Why you just didn't say that in the beginning? Why we got to get all frazzled and go through all this and when you just could say that? You know. Either way it go, I got a new goddamn pill to take. Okay. So I take the damn pills. I've been taking the pills. And um, lo and behold, it worked. My blood pressure went down. I went back twice. And it was normal. And I lost 10 pounds. So it did work out. So I made this video to say that just because the doctor tell your ass that you need to take a certain medicine, I mean, it's, it's like a... Um, it's like buying a new car. Haggle that shit out and see if, if you can haggle it out or whatever. See if there's another 
alternative to it or is there any natural remedies they don't want to tell you the natural remedies or they don't want to tell you um anything natural to do or whatever the case may be but sometimes get down to the root of it okay this is happening to me because of what you know or whatever but i wouldn't take no damn blood pressure medicine that was that was the <coughs> just of the conversation it wasn't going down mm -mm. so <coughs> i went and i think the day before yesterday and my blood pressure was down everything was good instead of them calling and congratulating my ass then she say oh well i'm guessing because the, your blood pressure is down and everything now your white cell your white blood count is too low we need you to take some protozoa some primitive whatever i said lady i'm not taking it is there any natural remedy that you can tell me to take uh you need to take that because if you don't have enough white blood cells you are um prone to get infections and da -da 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 -da. <sighs> So I said, okay. I just said, okay, to get her off my phone. Cause then we'll start this call around shit. Calling my house. Calling my work. Call, you know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> what I did was went on Google and find out exactly what I need to be taking while I'm taking the water pills because it's depleting everything. So um, I need to eat more spinach. I need to eat uh, almonds. I need to eat uh, pork, uh, poultry, lean poultry. I need to eat, you know what I'm saying? And then um, really uh, boost up my um, multivitamins, especially vitamin D. Why she just can't say that? So I have 10 days to be taking all this stuff and then go back in there and take another test for them to see that my blood count is, I mean, my white blood cells are okay. It's just a... That's a lot on the sister. You know what I'm saying? I just turned 38 and all the shit is just going wacko and crazy. I'm like, ooh, Lord Jesus. Ooh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so, I made this video just to say your weight does matter. You must, uh, when you are approaching, 40 shit ain't gonna be right unless you are fit i do say i am not a fit woman i'm working towards that and it's like every time i'm trying to get into the motion of it something happens and then i have to start working at the school and then i have to visit my job or whatever so i have excuses i'm sorry i got a whole lot of mo excuses yes you know, and I'm just like, you know what? I'm gonna have to start putting myself first. And you know, if somebody don't step up and bake the damn cookies, then ain't gonna be no goddamn cookies at the bake off. Okay, it ain't gonna be me doing the shit. That's what I need to learn how to do. I need to learn how to stop volunteering for shit that you know. I act like if I don't do it, the world gonna end. So. I need to start doing that and working on me. I need to go to the gym and really work. Work it out. Work it out. Work, work, work it out. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I'll do like my girl Grace and start walking. You know, because she do her walks or whatever. So maybe that might help. You think that might help? I'm, I'm something. I got to do something where I'm starting to move and, and do something. So any suggestions? Okay, anyway, this video is just pretty much a health check, see how girl doing, you know, and I hope every one of you guys are doing well on your health, and it's, it's very important. I just want to say, don't take your health for granted, because once your shit start going wrong, you can't go buy another one you you can't you know what I'm saying you, you just eat right don't stress and that's another thing I stress out about everything and it's just you know I have to learn how to 
and let that shit go. Just let it go. You know, and that's what I have to learn how to do. And I, I'm learning. I'm learning as we go. I don't know everything, but I do know one thing. I ain't cooking them damn cookies for the bake off. I ain't volunteer for shit unless I have to. And you know what I'm saying? Pretty much really start focusing on more. And that's pretty much it. So this is Black China with a health check to say check yourself and be healthy for yourself. Alright. Peace out, babies.